Bernard, we'll start with a uh, question from over here. Difficult day at the office. Could you just give us your thoughts on the match? Um, uh, poor, he played unbelievable. It was a joke. Um, so for him, uh, full credit. Um, you know, I tried to get some rhythm, but I just felt pretty bad the whole match. So, but for him, you got to give it to him. Just playing blue. Questions for the room. Danny, what do you take away from the fact you qualified and you're still back here again? Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's, uh, it's. I mean, I didn't basically touch a racket for eight months. I'm still winning matches at Slams. So, pff, for me, it's. Uh, it was good to quality. My way, I want to around here. You know, my opponent was a little bit hurt, but uh, I mean, tough. You know, in the, even in the qualities, the matches were uh, pretty tough. It was. It was not easy. So for me, like the last two months to reaching this level, you know, I can't ask for anything more. It's a bit uncertain going forward, Bernie. Where, what's your schedule for after this? Well, uh, to be honest, I haven't checked. I mean, it's still kind of tough around the world. I mean, it's not easy. I mean, we've had it pretty well here in Melbourne. Or to organise this Australian Open was, I mean, unbelievable. I think. Um, so, I mean, I don't know what I'll do now. I'd like to play some more tournaments, obviously, but uh, you've got to see what's, what's, what's the go. I think some countries are tough to get into and they've got sort of certain procedures. Have you entered tournaments? I have. I've entered, uh, I think, Singapore, which is a 250 quality. I think I might get in there. Um, a couple of challenges and so, but then again, it's, it's tough also with the, what you need to do. So, I don't know. I, I don't know, it's tough also to, to travel. I mean, I went to Doha uh, prior to this, came back here and had to leave Australia again. I mean, I'd love to, but I just want everything to be okay. So that's the most important thing. You said last month you had a new lease on life after having a, a, a time away from tennis. So you're still keen and prepared to battle through these sort of lower tier qualifying events and that to get back? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, there's no difference between, uh, I mean, you know, playing guys at 250 in the world, 200, and the guys 60. You know, there's certain players in the top 5, 10, 15 in the world. Obviously, you know, I've been there at the top in the inside the 20, and and uh, wasn't really that serious. You know, and you know, maybe if I was, I would have been top 10. But it doesn't change anything. All these guys are good, even at 150, 100, 200. So uh, the levels there. If you're winning matches at, uh, let's say, you know, challenges, that's that's. Uh, that's 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 a plus because I mean these guys in the top hundreds is pretty much the same level. Um, so regardless of where I am, I know I'm pretty good. I'm in a good state from taking off tennis for about eight months. Um, I couldn't ask for anything more. You know, like I said, winning four matches at grandstand level is is almost too good to be true at this stage for me. You said you didn't uh, feel great out there today. Could you have done anything more to to get your body right? Um, Given the yeah, I mean, there's no excuse for me. I mean, the guy just chopped me. Look, I mean, what is he, 10 or 11 in the world? The guy just played too good. I mean, it's just confidence when you're there, when you're focused, and when you're when you're at the top. You know, I remember myself playing and being in the top 30, top 20. You come in the matches and you're just confident. You're, you're uh, over opponents, you know. So that's what he had on the start, and from the first ball, from the first game, from the first, you know, 15 minutes, he was he wasn't gonna miss a ball. Is it hard knowing that if you leave, you can't really come back? I mean, you can, but it's a real hassle and quarantines again, and got to get exemptions. And it is, yeah. It's not. It's 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 it's, it's not easy. Um, I mean, for them to run the Grand Slam here was, I think, in the period was unbelievable. Um, congrats to everyone for organising it. Um, but yeah, the whole leaving. I mean, I've had to quarantine I think twice in let's say the last ten months. So, I mean, if I leave Australia now, I won't be coming back many times soon, that's for sure. John Fitzgerald said on commentary that he didn't think you'd be back at the Australian Open. Is that a bit harsh, you think? Oh, yeah, of course. I mean, well, I didn't think I'll be back. No, I mean, going forward next year. He says he doesn't expect to see you at the Australian Open next year. So, is that a bit harsh? I mean, I mean uh, it's, it's, you know, of course it is. I mean, but, you know... He's probably the worst commentator I've ever seen in my life as well. <laughs> Any more in the room? To those of you online, if you've got a question for Bernard, please raise your hand now. Bernard, thanks for your time. No that problem. That concludes our press conference. No problem. <laughs> no problem. Thanks.